get sick. I, yeah. I think being a wuss. I think it's just allergies, but hamstring curls. <laughs> oh, I have a new puzzle. I need to set that up somewhere. I, I'm not a puzzle person. I was just going to say, I want to be a puzzle person. <laughs> right. I, just, I can't sit still like that. It just frustrates me. Crisscross. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not either, but someone gave me one for Christmas. And so like, I should, I should see, maybe I am a puzzle person. <laughs> Try some more and then get back to us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pucky gave me two 3D puzzles and I was like, okay, I'm going to do them. And they involved glue and itty bitty tiny pieces. And I was like, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, not happening. I tried. But... I know that a lot of people in my family and Rob's family are, so they'll just have one set up on a table off in the corner and people can just wander over and, and work on it. So Seems like a good a good way to try it. Front kicks. My hamstrings are sore, so I can feel these. Jog in place, boxer shuffle is next in 10 seconds. There's your beep. Boxer shuffle, jog in place. Side skips are coming up next. Side skips in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. You know, I never look back at the recordings. I just, I just edit them real quick and put them up. Well, I think sometimes I laugh because I think I could do something awkward, embarrassing. I wouldn't know it. <laughs> the thing that cracks me up is I'm like, wow, my breathing really comes through because I'll be like out of breath and then I'll hear it in the video. I'll hear someone out of breath. Like, Jumping that's Jack. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> You're like, is that me? <laughs> yeah. Especially the couple when I was at the gym in California because I had my earbuds in. I'm like, oh, I'm noisy. <laughs> Almost done with jacks. Good, there's your beep. Change that to step back, arms overhead. Yeah, there are certain, I feel like my noise canceling ones, especially, I can just hear my breathing and it's a little annoying. <laughs> Coming up next is squat, side bend. Here we go, squat down, up, side bend. I did some extra cardio, I did some running intervals and my calf muscles are very sore from that. I don't do that very often. <laughs> So I'd change it up a little bit lower each squat. There is your beep done with that. Let's do some hip circles, alternate legs. And then we'll finish off with our forward bend. All right, three times. Arms up, big stretch toward the ceiling, swan dive down, forward bend, hold for three, two, one, bend your knees, hug your abs in, roll it up, do it again. Big reach up, swan dive down, forward bend, hold here, three, two, one, bend the knees, roll it up one more time. Big stretch up, swan dive, forward bend. Now stay here and march the knees, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten both knees, hold here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Bend the knees, hug the abs in, or roll it up carefully. All right, strength. We're doing the squat with the ball behind our back and the band for pull aparts. Then we're doing going to the floor for the next three. We're going to do that new push up variation, hamstring curls with the ball, and then skull crushers. So when you go to the floor, you need your ball close by and your medium or heavy dumbbells close by. Exercise one, do bracelets with the band. Get my timer set up and then get set up on the wall. Ball behind the back. Start with the ball on lower back, feet a little bit forward. And then grab toward the center of the band. You reach up as you squat down and then stand and pull apart. Three, two, one, and go. Arms reach forward and up and then stand and pull wide to your chest. You get to decide if you go fast for more reps or slow for more time under tension. Make sure the knees bend with the feet and pushing mostly through the heels. Get nice and low if you can. Almost done. There is your beep. All right, done with the band for now, but you need the ball close by. You need your dumbbells close by. Going to the floor for the new push-up variation. Okay, first, the push-up. All right, two things, and I'm saying this for the recording. Two options if push-ups are still really hard. First of all, you want your hands just a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Ankles crossed helps, feet up helps like this. So you're gonna be at the bottom. Option one is to push as hard as you can with your arms and you lift your torso off the floor just a smidge, like you might still be even touching the floor, but you're pushing as hard as you can for three, two, one, and then release and repeat that, just pushing hold. Or you can push hold for two, one, and then on the third count, press all the way up into that push up, lay all the way back down. That is your two options. 50 seconds, play around with it. Three, two, one, and go. Push and hold, and then release or press up. Now you do need a strong core to do a good push up. The goal is to push up in a straight line from top of the head to knees and not let your hips fall behind. It's very subtle, that hard pressing with the hands. Halfway. Building strength at the bottom part of the push-up where it's hardest. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Not easy. Lying face up for the next two. First one is the ball hamstring curl. Going to change this just a little bit. So I want your feet flat on the ball, knees bent. So first you're gonna push up into a bridge, then you push away and then you pull it back in and you set down. Now you can stay up and push pull if you want to make it a little bit harder. Three, two, one, and go. Hips up, squeeze the glutes, push the ball away, pull it back in hips set down. That is like a big full range bridge when you lift the glutes there, hamstrings for the push and pull. Why am I struggling so hard with this? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I am sure these are already sore, so this feels extra evil today. I also feel like this one is always hard. Just always. 15 seconds to go. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. So when you're doing the recording or even now, you can straighten one leg up toward the ceiling at this point if you ever need to stretch the hamstring and then switch. And then you can let that ball roll away so that you can do skull crushers with your dumbbells. I'm gonna do this for time, 50 seconds, just to keep it simple. Do as many reps as you can in the 50 seconds. If it's too long, you just stop earlier before the beep. Arms straight up toward the ceiling, going in three, two, one, go. Bend the elbows, lower those dumbbells next to the ears by the shoulders, exhale, push back up. Now, brace your core, inhale down, exhale, push. Down a little slow, for, so you can control it. Up a little fast. I won't be able to see my time to count us down. I'm hoping it's around eight, 10, 12 reps for most people. There's your beat. Finish the one that you're on and then nice and easy, set those down and off to the side. Grab a quick drink if you need it. We're gonna go all the way back to the squat with the band. Bracelets. I feel like it's hard to put the band on and then get the ball set up. <laughs> Same. <laughs> right? Like what order do we do this in? The setup is not easy. Go forward. Might have been knots, you know? Exactly. Choking up on that band, going in three, two, one, go. Lower down, arms reach overhead, stand and pull. I want you to pay attention to your shoulder blade area on the pull apart. So this is simulating pull-ups a little bit, same muscles. Plant those shoulder blades, draw them down your back as you pull wide to your chest. Almost done. Nice and low if you can. There is your beep. Band can stay there. Get the ball close to where you'll be on the floor. Going down for those push-ups again. I'm gonna make this interval a little longer. I feel like we could have used a few more reps. <laughs> takes a while to do this. These are because they're so slow, and sometimes you have to rest for a few counts before you're ready to do another. <laughs> so I added 10 seconds, one minute interval. Do I love the Renee's response, it's just laughter. <laughs> it's like, ha 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 ha. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. Here we go. Push and hold for a few counts, and then release or press all the way up. Lower with control. Trying to take your hips with you. When we get tired and we can't really do too many more, we end up doing the worm. We push, our chest comes up, our hips don't. <laughs> and that's when you can switch to just three count hold and then release and you don't have to press up get to a point where you can't. <laughs> I quiver on these two. What's funny is push-ups are supposed to be an easy version. <laughs> this makes them not. Oh, good. 12 seconds to go. Oh. 
three, two, and rest. I feel like we need to deserve the flop after that one. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Lying face up, knees 90 degree bend, feet flat on the ball. Drum and camera. All right, in position three, two, one, and go. Press up, push, pull, set down or stay up. I want you to also think about bracing the abs just a little bit. Use other muscles to support. One of my least favorites, <laughs> just because it really isolates the hamstring. And I just find it really, really challenging. 20 seconds left. I forgot I kept extra time on here. Oh, damn you. <laughs> one second. These are the bonus 10. Do one more rep. Here's your beep and rest. You can send one leg up toward the sky for a real quick stretch. Same thing, other leg. We don't want to stretch too long because that triggers relaxation and it's too soon for that, but just to keep it from tightening too much and cramping. Ball goes away, grab your dumbbells. Ball crushers are next. I'm gonna keep that extra time on there. Why not? You can always end early when you need to. Pressing those up towards the sky. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Exhale, push. Again, core is braced. Everything feels nice and strong. Base of support. Instead of leaving that to chance. Definitely one arm usually gives out sooner than the other. So this is one that you don't really want to risk doing sloppy reps. If I had to guess, 12 seconds. <laughs> Whenever I look at the timer. Oh, Ooh, it's getting hard. Slow motion reps over here. Oh. There you be. I was about to give up. So yeah, same. <laughs> I was like, no way, I'm pulling up another one. I'm gonna keep that extra on the squats and the push-ups, and then try help me remember to shave it off <laughs> when it's time for the others. Okay, set three. Grab a drink if you need it, real quick. That is allowed. Takes me a second to get set up anyway. Ball against the wall, low by the tail, legs forward. All right, choke up toward the middle of the band. Three, two, one, here we go. Low and reach, stand and pull. You can always play around with adding pulses at the bottom too. We need a little extra on the legs. Having the ball behind us in this position actually emphasizes the front of your thigh more, the quad, in case you can tell, front of the leg working more. And then that hamstring curl on the floor gets the back. So they complement each other pretty well. Leaning back gets to take a little of the work away from the hamstrings. Almost done. I'm on the struggle bus over here today. 
<clears throat> done with that. You're done with the band until later. Going to the floor for the push ups. All right, one minute. Do as many push ups as you can and then change it to the three count hold. Three, two, one, and go. First one felt okay. <laughs> You're halfway. All right, this is the hard interval right here. Fifteen seconds to go. Got slow motion push ups going on over here. Five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Nap time. Yeah. Oh. Saving ten seconds off for hamstring curls. Thank goodness. Yeah, right. Okay. Feet on the ball. I will say too, like I'm sort of accidentally doing this, but an interesting hack for the ball. When I extend, I'm very, very close to pushing my ball against my fireplace. That can be a good option. You got to figure out how to set up properly. I'm gonna start the interval and then I'll keep talking. Ready, set, here's your beep. Lift up, push, pull. But that can be a stopping point. So if I were to set up the right way, just the exact right distance, and then that fireplace would give me a stop and to kind of a reset just a little bit to help me control the ball. So if you're nervous sometimes about using the ball, you can be uh, close to a wall, even a corner when we do ball plank later. I will mention that again. 15 seconds to go. My hamstrings hate me right now. Yeah, my hamstrings hate you too. <laughs> Everyone's hamstrings hate me today. Here's your beep. And rest. Let that ball roll away. Grab your dumbbells. Skull crushers, last set, 50 seconds, five, zero. Three, two, one, and go. Abs are engaged. Exhale on the push. Last hard set of these. I will say too, our arms are extra cooked from those push ups, which makes these a little harder. Oh my gosh. All right. Ay, ay, ay. There's our beat just in time. Oh. Take a break, get a drink, walk around. Ooh, clear your space. We'll be getting ready for cardio. Same as workout A on Tuesday. So we do the side skip over the top so side skip ball does a rainbow from shoulder to shoulder and then we do four plank jack elbow pull side plank that can be hands on a chair coffee table or floor to make it hard all right i gotta get my time set up
40 seconds on, 25 seconds off, three times through. Okay, side skips are first. If you can't take it overhead or your shoulders start to get fried, you can rainbow it in front of the chest like that. Three, two, one, go. Skip, 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 and back. Get a little bit of lift, light on your feet. Having the arms overhead gets the heart rate up more and works the shoulders. Almost done. I lied. Oh, there's your beep. Set that ball aside. You got 25 seconds to get set up. I'm going to use hands on chair for first interval. You land in the plank jack with your feet wide so that you can pull open to a side plank. Four jacks, two side planks, one each arm. Here comes your beep. Jump your feet in out four times. Land wide, side plank, side plank, repeat the jack. Try to get your shoulders over the wrist. And if your hands are on a chair like mine are, you can put your fingertips around the edge. I haven't said this too often, but that makes the side plank a little dicey. But sometimes putting pressure on the wrist can be tough. So you can also push your fingertips down and that takes pressure off, spreads out the work in the hand, almost done. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Slow deep breaths, side skips with the ball. Coming up in 15 seconds. Almost time, four, three, two, one, go. Second set, best set. Try to cover some territory, get lift. Get in there, hang in, shoulders. There's your beep, right away, take your break. I'm gonna do this interval on the floor, four plank jacks, side plank to each side once, eight seconds and then we go, get set up. Four, three, two, one, and go. Four jacks, abs engaged. Now, because I was talking in the first time through, I think I led with my left arm almost every time. So now I'm gonna lead with my right arm almost every time. Can't talk, halfway. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Only sit down if you're dizzy or nauseous. Walk around one more time through. If it makes you feel better. I'm dying also. No, <laughs> dang, I thought that was it. We did it again. Yep. <laughs> Here comes your beep and go. We're recording today, so this workout will go a little longer than usual. To get it all in there.
last hard push. Proper form, most important. Then speed and intensity if you can. Almost done. There's your beat. Oh, goodness. Plank jack, side plank, last interval. 10 seconds and then we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Four jacks. Land with feet wide for balance purposes. Do what you can. Halfway. Twelve seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Oh. I'm struggling today. Oh. Take a break. <laughs> 